This great city has been witness to many strange scenes, but none so staggering as the one that played out here beneath her slumbering streets just seconds ago. An evil space ape bent on world destruction, thwarted by a six-foot-tall dog and a rabbity thing with psychic power. A tidy conclusion to an improbable story, or so it would seem for about five nanoseconds, until our heroes turn and see something so unexplainable, so horrifying, as to render evil space apes suddenly quaint. How could you, Sam? There you stand, a sickening grin on your face, your great hairy mitts clutched around my dear little silky white neck. Mother warned me it would come to this, but I couldn't bring myself to believe her. I could be wrong, Max, but I've got a hunch this isn't us. These horrifying skeletons are meant to convey a message of some sort. There's a story behind this grisly tableau. Aha, a note! What's it say? There's a story behind this grisly tableau. Perfect. Look, a highly flammable reel of nitrate-coated film from the dawn of the age of cinema. Burn it. I'll just pop it into this conveniently placed projector. Or burn it. Well, fair, Sam. You got to pick the movie last time. Shut up and enjoy the show, Max. Egyptian -y. Hey, that looks just like -da -da -da. Oh. Thundering tin types of Teddy Roosevelt in a three-wheeled baby carriage with a bonus jar of mustache wax. That's none other than my great grandpa Samoth, with your great grandpa Maximus. I can't hear what they're saying. It's a silent movie, little buddy. Film before the invention of vocal cords. Can't find the volume knob, huh? Let me... No, get away. I want to mess with it. Come on. <laughs> get, get off the... Uh, my, my, my... My uh, no. like great-grandfather, like uh, great-grandson. Huh? Something's happening, Sam. My aura is going all squirrely. I feel it too, Max. Some irresistible force is pulling me through the frame of that movie. We've got it, little buddy. The toy box is ours. Not for long. Kringle. I want that toy box! This is one of those situations where it would be helpful to have a gun. Or psychic powers. Psychic powers, that's right. We keep forgetting you've got unexplainable psychic powers. Oh, yeah. Where the Sam Hill are you hiding? Hey, what's up, guys? This is War Geek. Welcome to Sam and Max Season 3, Episode 2, The Tomb of Samanmak. Right off the bat, we're thrown into a bit of a struggle. There's Chris Kringle up there, who was uh, who's based off of Santa Claus from the previous Sam and Max There's games. No and you've got you. Samoth and Maximus, uh, who are apparently Tomb Raiders now, so they're Lara Croft. Right off the bat, use one of Max's new psychic abilities. We have Astral Projection, Can of Nuts, and Psychic Ventriloquism. We'll get a little more into these two right a little later, but Psychic Ventriloquism lets you throw your voice at any object or person. Good old Charlie Hotep. Thanks to him, I am gifted with the miraculous ab- Yeah, I'm still not sure Ventriloquism counts as a psychic power. Accidentally skipped something. Um, but yeah, what you gotta do is throw your voice to make Chris Kringle over here think you're over somewhere else. So you can use it on those weird squid statue. Ha! That sap Kringle will never find us in here! Ha! There you are! Watch out for falling squids! <laughs> Let's take this toy box and skedaddle, little pal. Champion ventriloquizing, Maximus. Now all we've gotta do is read those hieroglyphics again and the door will open and we'll be golden! Right. Uh... You don't remember how to read hieroglyphics, do you, Maximus? <laughs> Fat chance! But you do, right, Sam? Uh, uh, mm, uh, meh, uh, 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 Oh, this is rich! Ho, 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 ho! 
Oh no! Huh, that was interesting. A little skimpy on character development. That can't be the whole story. There must be, yes. Oh great, did we just like watch the end of the movie first? No, I think that was the middle. Which one's the beginning? Not a clue. Which one do you want to try? Alright, now I have another psychic power here. This is the astral projection. We can change between four different uh, time events with Sam and Max's great-grandparents. Uh, these are in order of, of story. Sphinx the Sphinx Challenge is the first one. Chain to Egypt is the next in line. The standoff is the middle reel. And the big reward is the finale. We had to complete the events in all three of the first in all three first reels that made sense in order to do anything in the big reward so let's get started with the first one the Sphinx challenge old timey credit sequence that's not old timey This is basically the same intro as uh, as what it was in the penal zone, but I think there might be some different flavor text on some of these. I'm not sure. And right on the left there, there's the astral projection. Ta-da! Kick down the door. Hold for effect. Fade out. Not even fade out. Cut out. That's not a cut out. Based on the scan scandalous 19th century zoetrope, the lady visits her chiropractor. New York City, 1901. Did the usher see us? Nah, he's still fishing for us under the candy counter. Shh, show's about to start. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, devotees of the uncanny and the bizarre. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Monsieur Pepierweight, and I bear great tidings, an archaeological discovery of earth-shattering proportions. My friends, I present to you the Sphinx. It's horrible, Samus! The face of pure evil! The stage is that way, Schmucko. But he's right. It is said she will yield her secrets only to one whose powers are equal to those of Samun Mak himself. Might you be that favored individual? I have come to your fair city today to issue a challenge. What you see before you is not merely a pasteboard facsimile, but a perfect recreation of the tomb's outer fortifications. To the one who makes it through the gate, I offer two tickets to Egypt and a chance for the adventure of a lifetime. You get any of that, Sammoth? Prize for the guys who can bust through that thing. Busting things is our speciality. You read my mind, little buddy. So now we're in control of Samoth and Maximus again. Uh, Samoth is just Sam with a stash and a bowler hat. And uh, Maximus is Max with rugged clothing. In some of the artwork pictured later in the game, uh, Maximus is, uh, is shown to have some sort of hat as well, but, uh, yeah, he doesn't. Ah, here come a couple of hearty specimens, gentlemen of the boulevards, no doubt. Did he just give it a whirl, my friends? The challenge of the Sphinx is open to all, regardless of age, prowess, or physical deformity. Okie dokie. What's in the can? That can of nuts looks oddly out of place up there. That is no ordinary can of nuts. It's a can of nuts from the Devil's Toy Box. What makes it so out of the ordinary? Far be it from me to divulge the secrets of the Devil's Toy Box, but it's just possible that this can does not actually contain nuts. 
No. Uh, what's your angle? Why go to all the trouble of rigging up a challenge of the Sphunx? If you're the big expert, why don't you just go through the mouth yourself? Knowledge alone is not sufficient to overcome the Sphunx's defenses, alas. The Seeker must be special. Okay. Who's the codger with the ugly kids? Is he bothering you? You want we should pants him? That's Nicholas St. Kringle, the well-known toy tycoon. He's offered me a fortune to direct him to the tomb of Samun Mak, but his money is of no interest to me. Who wants toy money? Talent! That is what I am searching for. Who wants toy money? Talent wants toy money! Know anything about the dame with the beady eyes? Mole people. The bane of my existence. Why are they always following me? You know, they must like your fez. Remind me, what do we win if we beat this game? An all-expenses-paid trip to sunny Egypt. Egypt? Now, is that with the alligators or the crocodiles? Your ignorance of giant carnivorous reptiles is embarrassing me, Maximus. Good. Thanks, your impresario ship. Give the challenge of the Sphinx a try, boys. What have you got to lose? Um, my life, for one. But, uh, that's beside the point. Hi. What's that? Have you seen this baby? Sure. She's right there on that milk carton. Problem solved. Excuse me, mister. No! No more toilet breaks till the job's done right, understand? We, um, uh, we're not your underlings. Huh? I got no statements for the press. Um... The elves. I note with curiosity that your assistants are... Short. I'm in the middle of transitioning to an elf-based labor force. Uh, trying to help out, you know. <laughs> Give a disadvantaged ethnic group a leg up in the new world. Mighty generous. Hell, who am I fooling? They're cheap as dirt. Toss them a few chestnuts and a figgy pudding, and they'll crawl a mile on broken glass. <laughs> you are an evil... elf, Santa. How about a cookie, Kringle? Go away! Oh. It's just my pal here hasn't eaten in 72 hours. And you had such a kindly face. Oh, for the love of... Okay, but just one, Savvy. Yay, we got the cookies. Uh, why don't you take the Sphunx challenge? I don't get it. What's an important-looking guy like you doing in a two-bit amusement palace like this? What's to get? This paperweight character says he's made some kind of big discovery of a toy-related nature. I make it my business to keep up with all new developments on the toy front, okay? So why aren't you doing it yourself? Why aren't you up there attempting the challenge of the Sphunx? My underlings are handling that for me. I see. Scared to try it yourself, huh? Scared? Nicholas St. Kringle is scared of nothing. Victor! Oh. oh. You fell down. <laughs> yeah, let me help you up. Keep your pincers off me, you drooling little cretin. If you had the teaspoon of brains necessary to do your job, I wouldn't be down here. And while he is down there, head, head to his bag. Okay, what do we got here? Inventory list, profits, losses, naughty, nice. Hmm, employee addresses. Looks like Crinkle's employees all live in that elf ghetto. You mean Little Arctic Circle? Alright, so now we know where the elves live. If we go up to the stage, he'll get up immediately. If you wait if you wait downstage, off stage, left stage, audience, then he'll get up automatically over time. Let's try uh the Sphunx challenge. Step right up and take the challenge of the Sphunx. First one through the gate wins a fabulous Egyptian tour. Spell the secret, buddy. How do we make it through this challenge of the Sphinx? I can talk you through the sequence of steps, but you must pass through the mouth of the Sphinx by your own power. To begin, simply step on to the beseeching mat. Beseeching mat? Her tongue. Oh. In other words, you don't have a clue how this thing works. Of course I know how it works. I built it. But despite all my arcane knowledge, only one granted the gift has the power to pass through. Good. 
Thanks, your impresario ship. Give the challenge of the Sphinx a try, boys. What have you got to lose? Uh, as I already said, my life. The Sphinx has awakened. You are indeed a seeker of substance. We like to say he's pleasantly plump. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. All right, now do what Chris Kringle did and toss some cookies in there. May the divine odor of chocolate chips prove pleasing to thy nasal cavities. A Very foot. good. You have passed the first threshold. Now recite the words of the inscription. Oh, uh, it's a foot, a snake, a two squiggles, and a bird. Uh. Open up. Or I take the leash off my little buddy here. You don't want to tangle with my little buddy. Uh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> my hieroglyphics are a little rusty. Hmm. Well, we're gonna need to learn hieroglyphics. Oh yeah, can of nuts. Woo! What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Why is it moving? Why do you suddenly have it in? Hey, okay. Well, well, that was a disconcerting twist on an old joke. Power came from me, Samoth. My body's all tingly. I've never felt anything like it. You may notice a lot of bodily changes over the next few years, little buddy. It's all part of. I want to do it again. Hey, what? Now, where did they run off to? A fake can of nuts now. Fantastic! Let's chase down those elves. Get back here! Ooh! Newspaper! Ooh, funny papers! Yeah, but they're all in hieroglyphics. Hmm. Hieroglyphics newspaper that a mole woman is reading. Let's go shake down those elves. Where are we going, Samoth? Little Arctic Circle. Little Arctic Circle, a chunk of the frozen north on the lower west side. Filthy elves! You pollute the sacred relics of the mole people! Ah, oh, lay off! Go on, burrow back where you came from! Yeah! Go chew on an earthworm, you friggin' undergrounder! Ha! I curse you! Ooh, I'm quaking in me little elven booties! Why can't we all get along, Samoth? Because most of us are a little buddy. <laughs> if you look over here... Lost Baby. We've got to see that show, Samoth. They've got posters up everywhere! Extra! Immigrant population tops one million. Maya urges calm. Jabbering heathens can make decent Americans. Buy a paper, mister? No, not interested. Hey, hey guys. Mushy. <laughs> Get the dog in the suit. Nice hat, mister. What graveyard you dig it up at? <laughs> Excuse What's me. What's the matter? Yous get off at the wrong stop or something? Swells like yous generally steer clear of Little Arctic Circle. Um, how about that can of nuts? Can we have it? What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? <laughs> Boykin, what does it look like? Special job for Mr. K himself. We's in the toy and novelty racket, see? We swiped, uh, that is, we managed to acquire this nifty little gizmo here. Sports a couple of interesting features. We cracked a code and Boss Kringle makes a fortune selling it over the holidays. Which means big bonuses for the likes of us. Give it up. You'll never manage to reverse engineer that can of nuts. It only works in the presence of Max's ineffable aura. Right. I hate to say it, but you guys' auras are just plain effable. Ah, Guan, you chumps got no more claim on this can than we do. Only we got it, and we're keeping it, see? We'll see about that, you bonsai bandits. No, Maximus. I think we should go. Huh? They're only gonna kill themselves trying to figure it out. Meanwhile, we've got the toy idea that's gonna set the industry on its ear. See you in the funny papers, suckers. Wait a minute! The boss will pay big if we bring him a great new concept. And it's true, we ain't getting nowhere with this can of nuts. Tell you what, Polly, we might be willing to work out a trade. 
Give us your toy idea. If it's really a winner like you say, we'll let you have the can. No fuss. These elves always creep me out because I can't tell if they're always friendly or if they're always devising some sort of ultimate plot. That made no sense. Um, kegs for kids? My Little Pony keg. With braidable hoses. Ew, no. Hmm, kids love beer. Yeah, but Mr. K don't. Uh, sausage stuffer. My first sausage stuffer. A fun way to dispose of leftover lunch meat, household vermin, and scabs. Ah, please, you're making me heave here. Uh, inflatable dartboard? It's an inflatable dartboard. Uh-uh, tried that last year. It was a bust. Literally. Slinko? It's a coiled up spring you push downstairs. Hey, I like pushing things downstairs. Nah, dumb idea. A uh, board game? It's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The kids ain't into capitalism nowadays. Oh, well, look where Monopoly got. Wait a minute, Sam and Max are gen- or Samoth and Maximus are geniuses. Uh, adventure game? Point and click adventure games. You gotta be kidding. By far my favorite. <laughs> Uh, example that Samoth gave. Well, none of those worked. I guess we're gonna have to find some other way of, uh, or some other kind of toy idea. As a matter of fact, you got nothing. We got something, all right, but we're holding out on you. Gotta clear it with the boss first. You do that. Come back when you're ready to talk toys. And if your idea's as hot as you say, we'll kick the can over to you. Kick the can. <laughs> Good one, slushy. Shut up. Those round-headed rats! They can't do this to me! I, I mean him! Ah, that can of nuts belongs to Maximus by right of psychic possession! I know, but unless our great-grandpas can dig up a great toy idea, I'm afraid they're out of luck. So now we know that we're gonna have to find another toy idea in order to get that, uh, that can of nuts back. If you go over here, we can visit somebody we just saw. The cellar apartment, and in hotels like these, you'll find the huddled masses huddling and massing. Maybe we came at a bad time. Whee! <laughs> Just knocks him into the air, doesn't even hit the ceiling. Whee! Whee! Excuse me, sir or madam. I can see you're busy muttering to yourself, but... Why you break my concentration on girls? You in cahoots with disgusting elves, no? No. Wait! Mishka Lisa Duja Fizzle Einzefeld. It is you, Nut Boy. Sameth, she just called me Nut Boy. The one with great power from body to squeeze himself down to kind of nut, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's me, Nut Boy. Nut Boy. Oh, <laughs> Rotten, stinking, disgusting elves! So long I am searching after sacred cannon nuts stolen from tomb of Samunmak. To find it in theater, to see it making with glorious magic nut boy squished down with fat doggy friend. Huh? And uh then to lose it to grubby little sacrilegious maggot elves. Oh, for the strength of ten moles to crush them to paste. We like paste. Kinda. Crushing elves to paste. Sounds fun. And invigorating. You, not a boy and fat doggy friend. You will come to aid of pitiful mole woman. You will take Kanonot back from nasty elves and bring it to mole woman. Sure. The first part, anyway. And perhaps there is something more woman can do for you. Uh, Funk's inscription. We can't get through this gate till we read the inscription. It wouldn't be so hard, only they went and wrote it in some crazy picture language. Remind me what the symbols are, and I will tell you how the inscription reads. Well, as I recall, there was a foot, a snake, then two squiggles, and a bird. A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird. Yeah. How would you say that in ancient Egyptian? Foot snake squeakle squeakle bird. Works for me. Gee, hieroglyphics are easy. I didn't realize this was going to be one of those educational movies. Keep watching. If it turns out that's actually how they're pronounced in ancient Egyptian, 
I don't know how accurate this game would be. We're in need of a hearty chuckle. Can you read us something from your hieroglyphic funny pages? Let me see. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Mole mates creating much merriment up and down the Nile. In first pan, husband Mole say to wife, You very angry with me, no? You can see it's true because wife Mole have scorpions crawling from the eyes. In second panel, gotcha. husband say, It's because you caught me. Oh, how you say it as oh, it's making the monkey dance with the beautiful temple mole maiden who have the sensuous quivering nostrils. And in the third panel, husband is falling over backwards from great astonishment when the wife saying to him, No, it's because you cut the cucumber lengthwise. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, you get it? Because oh, who cuts a cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> it's crazy, no? I mean, can you imagine what kind of crazy nut would... Americans have no sense of humor. Uh, I get it, cuz I'm American- wait. Keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Before we end this episode, I want to check this. Watch this. Do not touch. Is visual component of powerful curse I am throwing on Elf out the window. He think he can make on me smart guy wise crack. Ha! We see how smart he feel after he become a vampire. An umpire? Uh. No, no. With the uh, uh, sucking of blood and uh, the sleeping in coffins. Oh, a vampire. Okay. So now we know that she can curse things into vampires. Yeah. Come on, Sam. Maxus. There we go. -hoo -hoo and one more. Whee! Okay. So that'll be the end of uh, <laughs> of this first part of the Tomb of Sam and Mac. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for part two, where we're going to... Get the cannon nuts back, hopefully. This is What a Geek, and I'll see you guys later.